This week on the Honey Break Experience. I grew up hunting and fishing and playing ball like everybody else, and then I just grew up around music, and that's what I always wanted to do, nothing else. Well, in this episode, we're going to reflect back on the highlights and lowlights of the season. Uh, you know, everybody's got their own personal touch they want to put into it. You know, one thing, you know, as manager of the place is uh, I want to thank everybody for the commitment they put into to making this place go as smooth as it did this year. You know, we had a lot of challenges with uh, low water starting out and you know, pumping 516 millions of gallons every 12 hours. That, that was a, a big challenge to get the season open up. Um, you know, we started off with teal season. One of my favorite hunts personally was uh, with, the, with the guys from DU and, and the singer-songwriters. We had uh, Dylan Scott and, and Phillip come down here, and that's kind of where we get the birth of our of our Blackwater baptism song for our closing. You know, what do y'all what do y'all think about that song? My son goes crazy when, when, when the show's over to listen to that song, what? dance around the living room. There's a lot of people have been talking that have done duck hunting songs in the past, but one thing I like about it is it's uh, it's Mississippi Flyway specific. You know, it, you know, and, and we can all relate to. To what they're saying and, and you know what goes on in it. So. It's freezing the first day of the season. Yeah, and when it comes to retrieving, old Duke's on his game. A John Bo, a couple of Mojos. Yeah, they gonna know that we don't play. That's right. Swamp be feeling some dust blind healing. Hop on. Calling them old green heads back home. Keep your head bound. It's gonna get real loud. When that 12 gauge choir sings out a holy song. Somebody say amen. Let's give them a black and water baptism. I grew up hunting and fishing and playing ball like everybody else, and then. I just grew up around music and that's what I always wanted to do, nothing else. It's been great. Been recording music. This past year I got my very first single out to country radio. I couldn't ask for anything else. This song we wanted to keep the integrity in it and make it a real live duck hunting situation. Same time elevate the ducks. But this was a title and an idea and an inspiration that really, really hit home for both of us so we could just really dig into it and feel great about it. So it's, it's something we're really proud of. Drop it, Company. Here we go again. Somebody say when a swamp is feeling some dust blind healing. I fall calling them old green heads back home. Keep your little heads bound. It's gonna get real loud when that 12 gauge choir sings out a holy song. Well, somebody say. Break experience is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Dirty Bird Waterfowl Clothing by Brown.
Gator Tail Outboards, taking you places you never thought possible. This is the Honey Break Experience. I tell you, one of the funniest things I thought this year was the creation of Team Real. Right. Dart landed. Right. I don't know how that came to pass, but <laughs> since half of Team Real's not here, Mr. Landed, we're going to let Dart, if you don't mind, how about yeah, explain to us how did Team Real even come to pass? Actually, that, that was that was running, do you running know? bear and little white dog. Running bear and little white dog. So running run, run bear, bear. Yeah, running bear. Tell us about it. Tell us about Team Real. Uh, team Real started out when we did all the work for these guys. <laughs> I mean, these guys wanted to kill our ducks, but we had to do all the work. But at the end, we always killed more than them. So, we named our team Team Real. We always came through. You do realize we video most of the, the hunt, so, so it's going to be kind of hard to say you killed most of the ducks. We I mean, always kill more ducks. Landon, Landon can't kill more ducks. You cannot, he, he, he sits you cannot in a bash and, my and, best friend when he is not here. And, 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 Diesel we are a bird. team. Oh, y'all are back together now? We are a team. We are back. We break up and we get back together and we're... We we're just gonna... figured y'all are, are uh -huh. divorced again since, you know, you're here and he's not. The blind surgery. <laughs> my good old friends, you know, hashtag Team Real, you know, my buddy. I really, really got mad at him and I talked on camera like I really shouldn't have because he's my buddy. Me and Team Real, yeah, another guy out here. Yeah, he's about to get kicked off the team because he uh, put a little molasses on my duck calls and I'm pretty upset and thinking that <laughs> thinking that he was my friend because he ain't my friend no more. Mm -mm, he's off the of Team Real forever. That got blamed on me. I did not do that because we are Team Real. I invented Team Real and he's trying to kick me off Team Real. I just don't see it. I hate he sold me out like that on camera. Uh, I haven't got to see it yet, but I heard it was I heard it was pretty bad, pretty bad talking about me. So we'll figure it, we'll figure that out. I'll um I'll get a plan together and and Dart is um he's he's gonna have it coming. Well, you know when we were out here, he was brushing this blind. He said that you didn't know it yet, but the willow pin was his. He's raising this looks like it does. Honey bun wrappers in here, and watering the blind. Holes everywhere. This is my bit. He just don't know it yet. Yeah, that's why we already killed more ducks than he did yesterday, huh, Landon? <laughs> yeah, I think he killed like eight out here yesterday. So mm -hmm. We got him beat already. Well, talking about Team Real, my favorite memory of the whole year was me and Drew and uh, Scott Corville and Landon and a buddy of his were in the Sandy Blind. The Sandy Blind's kind of tight. You can't shoot five people across the front of it. So me and Landon are kind of taking turns. And Landon hadn't shot any that morning. And this old spoonbill comes in. And Landon looks at Drew and says, hey, diesel, dead bird. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Three times that old spoonbill gets away. And I'm standing right behind Landon. I'm looking right down his shoulder, down that gun barrel. And he's off that bird every time he shoots that. First thing he says, <laughs> that bird's a little further than I thought it was going to be when I shot it. Yeah, it was right there in the decoy. Wow. I'm ready. Camera, y'all ready? And you let him get away. I got my gun. Me and Landon's going to shoot now. I'm up. <laughs> I'm ready. You ever said something and right away known that it was probably uh, as soon as it left your mouth it wasn't going to be good? Well, the uh, the elusive spoonbill come in and I thought I could take him. The smiley comes back. I'm going to shoot that smiley. I'm shooting that smiley. That's my smiley. I got him. I'm going to kill him. Come on in here, smiley. He picks his gun up, clicks the safety off, and goes, Diesel, dead bird. Boom, boom, boom. The duck just flies off. Clean miss. We laughed our butts off at him. He's never going to live that down. But you called your shot, Diesel Dead Bird. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a little overconfident. That, that, absolutely, that, that was the best miss I ever seen. A little overconfident. <laughs> I know what to tell you. After I said that and got that bait on him, I said, ain't no way I'm going to You pulled in and he got real smart. Probably should have said that. <laughs> Only a person that touches his gun, everybody stands back off the, off the shooting porch and landing. Pow, pow, pow. No bird. He shoots three times, doesn't clip a feather, duck flies off. 
And, I, and I'm telling you, it was the most manly miss I've ever seen, ever. 0 for 3 on the spoon wheel, missed him three times. So nobody cleaned me up, I was by myself. I think they wanted it to be like that, but um, it, was, uh, it wasn't pretty. You know, one thing that's always a, a highlight to all of us, but was really near and dear to my heart, uh, is the youth hunt we do with, with the Honey Break Young Guns. You know, those kids come out here and, and um, we kind of mentor those guys during the year for sporting clays events and fishing tournaments and stuff like that. And to be able to give something back to them, you know, like our dads and, and grandpas did with us, uh, that's something that uh, I, I, really, I really appreciate being able to do or, or really humble to be able to do something like that for, you know, to give back to the community. It means a lot to those kids. It means everything to those kids. Right. You know, my dad started me out young. I intend on starting my son out if he, you know, he wants to go. Yeah, it means a lot to those kids to take them out and be able to do that with them. That's right. You know, yeah, I, had, I had men growing up in my life that took me and done those things and made sure I got to do those things. And it meant a lot. That's right. Some of the most fun things, like me taking my son out here, that's probably some of the best hunts I ever had. Oh, yeah. And you'll find out. Oh, yeah. When Holden gets a little old to be able to take them and get them killing the first few ducks oh, and get yeah. to where they come and wake you up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Say, come on, let's go hunting. We well, ain't they, they like two hours. They don't mind <laughs> being care. ready. And that's some special times. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of those kids don't have parents that hunt, so they don't have the opportunity. They may never get to hunt if somebody doesn't Yeah, it means more to those kids than a lot of people will ever understand. <laughs> There's a monsoon up to you. <laughs> There's a plethora up to you back there. You don't hear anything back there that sounds like jingle bells? Listen. Yeah? A couple of years ago, um, my dad brought me up here for the first time to come up here and duck hunt and deer hunt with Mr. Drew. And I killed my first duck with him. The first duck I ever killed was with him here at Honey Break. And well, ever since I met him the first time, I've just kept coming up here and we've just got closer and closer. Over. We're going to get your duck in the boat. All right. Watch these ducks, watch these ducks. Dog now, if they come over here, y'all can shoot them. Cash didn't slip in for a week. He got a little pep in his step, too. Well, the highlight of this trip is just coming and being able to spend time with the people up here that I haven't seen in a year, probably, and just being able to have a great, better relationship with them and talk to them and just duck hunt and have fun.
first duck I shot, it was just like sitting there on the water, and so it was kind of easy shot. But this one was like kind of coming in, and I was like, okay, I can do this, and I shot it. And at first, I didn't know what really happened. Everybody was like excited. I was like, what happened? They're like, you shot your first duck in the air. I was like, oh, that's awesome, cool. So yeah, I was really excited. The Honey Break Experience is brought to you by Mojo Outdoors. If it ain't magic, it ain't Mojo. War Eagle Boats, built for hunters who love to fish. Guts, glory, round trucks. This is the Honey Break Experience. I did another fun thing we did this year too, one day during the late in the season after we had hunted all day. Dark came up with the idea and landed and they wanted to go to the ferry to play golf. So Drew and myself and Dart and Landon all went and had a little golf match. Uh, Even threw a little Mike Corley in there. Yeah, had a little, just had a good time, had a uh, you got a little well, activity you toward the end. I mean, we, right. they kind of took advantage of the older people. It got dark and we couldn't see. Right. And that's how they wind up. I'll admit that they won. But it was all a deal that they have young guys and they right. can see better than us. That must have been what it was. It, that's all it was. Because we were winning oh, until it got dark. We were winning until it got right so there. Yeah, we will have a rematch that we can bring right. up next year's show. Most to definitely. Let you know how. I don't know. The camera light just, I just, they don't pick up that late. So, right. So, obviously, you lost a little bit before dark. No, we're not saying we didn't lose. We, no, we, we lost. Admit, we're grown men. We admit right. to yeah, it. Yeah, we admit to it. We are just naturally born losers. Yeah, I mean, we're team real. We wouldn't go quite that far. We're nothing but winners. Right, so I mean, it's no big deal about a rematch. Okay, well, we'll schedule that for next season. Yeah. What's about to happen? I don't, I don't know who we're playing. Uh, Mark and and Drew. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we gotta be serious. Oh, he's gonna let the big dog eat. He's gonna let the big dog eat right out of the bowling woods over there. Woo! <laughs> I didn't like that ball anyway. <laughs> yeah. One down. That's why I get that ball on the other side. Wait, one up. You ready? Hit something top. <laughs> we got a par four, dog leg left, out of bounds on the left and the right. You get over that, that fairway bunker, you're good. Now we, let's see what we're getting a little friendly wager here. Who's in bounds and who ain't? But I got hit that tee box. So all I got to hit is Seth Meyer and be in the fairway, right? You'll probably beat me on Seth Meyer. <laughs> Get him another ball, Landon. Get him a ball, Landon. That, that's out hand. He might have cleared it that time. Catch that ball, man. That was good. If you get a second chance at duck hunting, you might be good at that, too. The team we were coming for is golf team. You know it. In the hole. Good play, Dark. Dark Meister. Flag. Pick a good part. I told you I'd play golf. Drew, get the flag to tell us two holes in a row. Thank you. I got it. Thank you, Drew. That's his hook club. Where's Jared? Jared, Jared, Drew? I don't think that water's supposed to come in play on this Thank you, Drew. Thank you. I don't think. I appreciate that one. Taxi, what we're doing is we're going to be called the heckler. Hey, real Mike should have punted that. That's my partner. <laughs> Losing's bad, but losing to them is even worse. Well, that's a wrap for this season. Uh, I can't tell y'all enough how much I appreciate each one of y'all being a part of the Honey Break team and, and uh, what it means to me uh, to have people like y'all surrounding us. Uh, can't tell you what it's going to be like for next year, but it's going to be exciting. It's going to be great. Every year we get better and better and better. 
So can't wait to see what this year brings. We got, we've been working hard all summer. Look forward to us next season. Yeah. And Team Real, also, for the record, we're coming with a vengeance. <laughs> Hold your breath for that. You Hold your if, breath. If the other one shows up. Yeah. Close catch provided by Dirty Bird Waterfire Clothing by Brown. Freezing, the first day of the season. Yeah, when it comes to retrieving, old Duke's on his game. A John Boat, a couple of Mojos. Shoot, they gon' know that we don't play. Swampy feeling, some duck blind healing. Hop out, calling the Mo Green, head back home. Get real loud when that 12 gauge choir sings out a holy song. Well, somebody say amen. Let's give them a black water baptism.